Health by Yourself presents How to Use Your Frolov Respiratory Training Device. Introduction Intelligent Diseases Hyperglycemia, Hypoglycemia. Remember, sugar is the fuel for the anaerobic metabolism. When your body is running aerobically, when you're in that calm mode, you're using a small amount of fuel, you're running very efficiently, and you even have reserves stored in your body just in case you need extra sugar. The reserves are designed for times when you need to operate anaerobically for short bursts of power. When your body goes into that anaerobic mode, your blood sugar might go up many, many times its normal amount. And where does that sugar come from? It comes from those reserves. But imagine how this system is affected when a person is running anaerobic 24-7. This is not an uncommon situation. When this person is running anaerobic constantly, the cells are sucking sugar up rapidly. Also, when you run anaerobic, your body is tuned to empty out the reserves so that the sugar can move into the blood where it's needed to be delivered to the cells. So in other words, when you are running anaerobic constantly, you deplete your sugar reserves. So on the one hand, anaerobic dominance can cause very high blood sugar because your body needs high blood sugar when it's running anaerobic. On the other hand, your body can't maintain such high blood sugar. So the same condition will cause low blood sugar hypoglycemia. But you need to regulate your blood sugar somewhat in order to even stay alive. Since you can't do it using your reserves, you have to do it with your food. A person who is fluctuating be between these two extremes goes through periods where they really have to eat immediately. And you might have experienced this at times when, you, when your blood sugar drops, you feel like you'll almost be nauseous if you don't eat something quickly. Well, that's what a person fluctuating with their blood sugar experiences all the time. But regulating, regulating your blood sugar with your food is not nearly as precise as your body would be able to regulate it if you are operating properly. When your body is working properly, your reserves are maintained, except for the short periods of time that you really need them. Immediately afterwards, you're switching back to an aerobic metabolism, in which case your sugar reserves can be restored. So in the end, you have to find a way to regulate your blood sugar. The problem with doing it with food is that you're overshooting. In other words, when your blood sugar drops, you eat right away, but it's almost a scary feeling, so you eat more than what you really need, so your blood sugar goes too high. You can only use so much of it, and you can't use it to restore your reserves, assuming that you are operating anaerobically. So a lot of it is stored as fat. It's just hard on your system to be running anaerobically all the time. People have tried to get around this, by eating foods that are mixed with proteins, carbohydrates, and fats so that your digestive system becomes the sugar reserves and so that your digestive system slowly leaks the sugar into your blood. And that actually is effective in terms of maintaining blood sugar. The problem is twofold. First of all, it's not that good for your digestive system in the long run. It tends to make you congested and all the toxins that will build up because of that will probably give you more problems than you would have had from the blood sugar itself. But the second point in trying to regulate blood sugar by eating in combination all the time is even more important. The fluctuating blood sugar is not the problem. That's just a symptom of poor cell metabolism. The program that you're doing improves your cell metabolism. The blood sugar will improve because your cell metabolism improves. It doesn't work the other way around. So that what happens is when you start training with your breathing, you're going to introduce oxygen into the cells, which will strongly encourage them to run aerobic, which means they are much more efficient, which means they use much less sugar, which means you're not depleting your reserves. And at the same time, the aerobic metabolism encourages you to replenish your reserves. And so the entire cycle is just reversed. 
Thank you for listening. For more information on the Frolov respiratory training device, go to healthbyyourself.net.